We're at Hydro Athletics and we're on video series number two, dynamic hip mobility and dynamic hip power. And we're gonna continue with three more movements with hip dynamics. Number one movement is hip swings, resistant hip swings. Once again, we're working with the Aqualogic technology on our ankles. There's resistance created in every direction. Left leg, right leg. Now when you're doing dynamic warm-up on land and we do hip swings, that's great. There's no resistance because it's air. Now we're gonna like add the water and the aqualogics and we're I'm gonna work 10 reps on each leg. So we're gonna stabilize our bodies in the pool. I'm gonna grab a pool wall right here or the pool deck. We're gonna start to swing the hips across our body and then back up with dynamic power. Now this is very difficult because we're going against the resistance of the water and we have the aqualogics on and we're trying to create ranges of motion while we're moving our hips dynamically up and then swinging across our body. Try to keep that leg as straight as you can. Point your toes towards the wall and you're trying to get that pool dynamic out and time. Now we go with the left leg here. We're gonna swing it up across our body. Then up across our body, leg straight. Really try to create that dynamic hip movement across our body. Three. Two. One. Now why that's great is not only are we working on hip mobility, now we're working on muscle tone, muscle tension, muscle density because of the resistance of the water. Movement number two. Same movement with the hips. Now it's going behind our balance leg. So it's going behind our balance leg here. Swing up. Then behind the balance leg like this. So I'm just going to do five reps on each leg. One. And I swing back up. Cross. Behind my back leg. That's two. That's three. A lot of attention on the glutes. Try to get that hip as much as you can behind your off leg. Now we do the left leg. I swing that hip up. Cross my body as much as I can behind that leg. Tight core. standing hip circles. The key here is to keep our knee in a sided position, not down like this. So I'm going to keep the knee here and I'm just going to create a big circle. And I really want to go away from my core to create that big circle. No good. This is no good. This is what we want. Okay? Knee, hip circle. That dynamic power. Next leg. Same time. Stay tuned Monday for another edition of Hydro Athletics Hip Dynamics. Thank you and God bless.